Well, for the latest, uh, we can go to London and our correspondent, Jonathan Sacha Dotti. Uh, Jonathan, tell us a bit more about Mr Akbari and where the situation stands right now. In a shocking turn of events, Iran has sentenced former official and dual British-Iranian citizen Alireza Akbari to death for espionage on behalf of the United Kingdom. Tehran says he's guilty of spying for the UK, but the former Iranian official, who was originally arrested in 2019, has denied the charges. Meanwhile, Britain has called on Tehran to halt his execution. Ali Reza Akbari was once Iran's deputy defence minister under Mohammad Khatami's presidency from 1997 to 2005. He also served as a member of the military organisation that implemented the United Nations resolution that ended the Iran-Iraq war. Akbari also supported the Iranian nuclear deal signed between the West and Tehran in 2015 and was considered close to Ali Shamkhani, the Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council. He's lived here in the UK for over a decade. The semi-official Tasnim News Agency reported that Iranian intelligence had unmasked him as a spy by feeding him false information. It described him as one of the most important infiltrators of the country's sensitive and strategic centres. And Jonathan, what about the UK government's reaction? What are they actually doing to help him? James Cleverly, Britain's foreign secretary, said that Iran must halt Akbari's execution and immediately release him, calling the death sentence a politically motivated act by a barbaric regime that has total disregard for human life. Akbari claims that he was forced to confess with torture and mind-altering drugs, but that he's not guilty. He's appealed his death sentence, but lost that appeal. His wife, Mariam, says that she's been asked to make a final visit to the prison where he's being held, and that his execution may therefore be imminent. The chair of the House of Commons Foreign Affairs Committee here, Alicia Cairns, condemned the planned execution as well. She said that Tehran felt cornered as a result of international sanctions and anti-government protests. Speaking to the BBC, she called it another horrifying example of the Iranian regime, citing what she called significant pressure from sanctions and blaming Iran of weaponizing British nationals and industrializing hostage-taking. She called for tougher sanctions on Iran, which is also executing those involved in the ongoing protests. She said every time the Iranian government assassinates an individual involved in the protests, there should be sanctions applied by Western governments the next day to make the point that we stand by those protesting for the basic rights of Iranians. Otherwise, she said, we're showing no meaningful support to them. A Foreign Office spokesperson here said that we are supporting the family of Mr Akbari and have repeatedly raised his case with Iranian authorities. Went on to say, our priority is securing his immediate release and we have reiterated our request for urgent consular access. Jonathan, thank you very much.